Sergio, congratulations on the win, man. And um, how, how are you feeling after a pretty big win over a lot of who a lot of people consider the Bellator GOAT? I feel good, man. Uh, it's been 18 months off and to come back and have a performance like that. Uh, I didn't get to watch it yet, but uh, in my head, it looked kind of good. So I hope it looked good for everybody else. And through everything that you've been through in the last 14 months, I mean, how much more special does that make this? Um, awesome, man. Everybody's talking about ring rust and all this crazy stuff. And everybody's talking about Pitbull and kind of forgot about me. So I'm um, glad to be back and showed, you know, champs home, champs back. And I know you gave very focused answers coming into the fight, but was that motivation at all for you to, to kind of have that narrative where it seemed like a lot of the spotlight was on Patricio and, and not necessarily on you? Oh, no, man. I think my career is like that. You know, a lot of people overlook me and um, now, now it's good to be seen. You know, I feel like this fight made me be seen and we'll see. Uh, that, uh, keep on going. I'm just going to keep on going. I'm motivated. Yeah, I was going to say, is it almost kind of in a weird way that it almost kind of build your brand where it's like, hey, everybody that thought he was going to win and then you went out there, you swept the scorecards. I think you lost one scorecard on one judge's uh, you know, set of scorecards. So that's crazy. That's yeah. Crazy. Yeah, man. It was, it was a great night. Great fight. Big shout out to my my team, Mark Chowinski and Larios, Chris Wright, Duke Rufus. Um, they made the camp so much better and helped me believe in myself. So just surrounded by great people. And um, now it's my time. You almost had quite the uh, the highlight reel finish there in the second with that spinning wheel kick. Was that something coming into this fight you thought would work or did you just kind of throw it in the moment? I was just throwing in the moment, man. My teammates and my corner men were telling me to flow and uh, to go out there and be loose and be free. And yeah, I just kind of just threw it and it landed. My heels actually really sore from that kick. And you already know what your next challenge is going to be. Uh, you had your square off with Patchy Mix. Um, talk to me about that uh, kind of. What's your what's your thoughts on fighting him and that opportunity as well? Um, it's awesome, man. My my career's all lined up right now. Last year I had uh no goals, no nothing set for me, just recovering. So to come back and be successful and have patchy mix next, I got some uh some hitters at me over here at Bellator. Sure. Hey, I'm sure you knew you were gonna win, but going into this fight, did the fight surprise you how it went? I thought I was gonna lose this fight. I ain't gonna lie. I was telling my girl, I'm like, hey, if I lose anybody, it's okay to lose the Patricio Pit Bull. He's a legend. So I didn't think I was going to lose. I just had battles with my mind. You know, I was kind of nervous, scared, all the above 14 months off of 18 months off of competing. So kind of forgot how all this felt. And um, yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. It was, uh, it's the opposite of Nate Diaz. I am surprised, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you, I mean, I don't, don't want to say, do you enjoy thinking you're going to lose, but did you enjoy that, that feeling going into that now that you, seeing you could overcome that? I mean, it was something I had a battle for sure. It was a tense day for me today. I just kept pacing back and forth, sweating nonstop. I was definitely nervous. And to uh, get past that and, you know, have these battles with myself, I think that makes me perform to my best, you know, thinking I'm going to lose and possibly going out there, you know, willing to risk it to win, but also, you know, not afraid to lose. Uh, it's, it's a weird thing. I don't know. I got to figure it out. Is that the first time you felt like that going into a fight? Um, no, I kind of feel like that going into a lot of my fights, you know, just having those self battles. And then I go out there and perform kind of better. So what did you think of Patricio in there? Did, did, did he feel much bigger than all your other opponents? No, nah, he didn't feel much bigger. He did hit me with a shoulder strike. That's got my nose looking a little funny right now. But other than that. Um, other than that, yeah, I feel, I feel good. You know, I feel like his strength wasn't a problem with me and I just felt faster than him out there tonight. Did anything about him surprise you? Not really. He's a cool dude. He's very calm, collective, uh, high level competitor, very humble. I respect him a lot. You said you felt faster out there. It was very evident. How were you able to see everything that he was throwing at you? I, I feel like I'm a master at controlling the range. You know, being a shorter guy, I always got to watch out for that. So he, I had, I think, five inches of reach on him, four inches of reach on him, and I was using that to my advantage, just poking away. How difficult was it to battle back after getting taken down early and, and really make the fight go where you wanted it? Um, you know, just facing adversity. I feel like I faced adversity. My last fight with Horiguchi, he was beating me for three and a half rounds and I came out there and did something awesome. So uh, I took that from that fight and just stayed calm this fight too. You know, I'm, I'm a five round fighter. Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, I just want to kind of, first off, congrats, Sergio. Uh, in your post-fight speech and throughout fight week, you've been open about your anxiety and all your battles. Why was that important for you in the biggest moment really of your career so far to bring that up because so many times, especially in professional fighting, people want to shy away from that, but you were open and vulnerable with it. Yeah. I just feel uh, there's a lot of fighters right now that are just, you know, almost superhumans or people can't relate to them. And I'm just very human, man. I'm very myself. And, um, I, I have these problems that I've had my whole life, you know, since I was a young kid and I still deal with it to this day, the waves of it. So I'm kind of figuring it out still as I'm going, but 
I wanted this fight to be special, man, because uh, last year I was dealing with a lot of hard stuff. You know, I didn't get to compete for a while. I didn't get to make money. So I was battling financial issues on top of, you know, dealing with anxiety, dealing with depression, especially having an ACL injury. You can't move around at all. So definitely had to face all those uh, battles and overcome those hardships. Everyone, including yourself, gave Patricio his flowers coming into this fight. You know, everyone calling him Bellator Goat. You you beat that. And you did so decisively. So now what is what do you say to yourself after a performance like you had tonight? I got to believe myself more. Um, I feel like that's something I lack. And my cornerman and my, my family, my fiance, or her brother, helped me believe in myself. And it's coming together. When do you want to face Patchy? I like to face Patchy hopefully uh, November or December. I plan on getting married around next year, February. So I want to look a little clean before I uh, get married. <laughs> Just one more for me. Did you catch your brother's bet slip there? You made him some money. Yeah, yeah. I saw that before I fought. I'm like, oh my God, I got to win this fight for sure now. 50 racks on the line or whatever else he put up. But yeah, Anthony's crazy. He's willing to risk it on me. And uh, that's awesome, man. He believes in me. Thanks. Starting out the, at the fight, um, you seemed a little bit tense. And then once you got that kick right to the face, it was just like easy. Did you feel like that was the change? When you kicked him right in the face? Um, I just felt like over the fight, I started catching his range and his rhythm and started poking away and uh, getting comfortable out there. My teammates always tell me, my coaches always tell me, when you have fun, you're the best. And tonight I had some fun for sure. Thank you. Anybody else? All right. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you.